Moving the motion for the vote of confidence in the Edo State Governor, the Majority Leader Roland Asoro said, owing to the effective governance in Edo State, it is important for him to be commended. I want to move that the vote of confidence be passed on the Governor, considering his developmental strike in the state. The Governor is doing well on all fronts, no doubt. The people of Edo are even the people from the diaspora, Sending congratulatory messages. There are many of them are willing to return home now because the atmosphere in the state is a, a wonderful atmosphere. We want to implore the governor to continue his good work. The Speaker Kabiru Ajoto said the vote of confidence in the governor by the House is not a misplaced priority as he has done enough to earn it. For the good work he is doing for the people of Edo State, my respected colleagues, if we are all in agreement that we pass the vote of confidence on the governor of Edo State, Godwin Obaseki. May we please say, ah, ah, ah. Also at plenary, the House condoled with the family of a woman, Augustina Amudu, who was electrocuted in Afuze due to wire cuts. The member representing Owa East constituency, Folio Gedegbe, who moved the motion and supported by some other members, said many houses and property were also destroyed. Cut. Caught and fell on transformer at Afuzi, destroying, in fact, instantly there were explosions at three different transformers and destroying electronics in people's uh, houses. In the process, one Mrs. Augustina Amodu, New York, in an attempt to go and switch off her refrigerator, got electrocuted. New York has need to always rise up immediately to reach out to people. Because they are, the, they are the people that are the, uh, the people that interfaces with the people. So they must be able to rise up to meet up with such a problem. The BBC has a unit, a facility that we are not exploring as honorable members. The unit has to do with emergency. And the emergency is always alive. That I know very well. I will make reports to this unit. At any time, let it be in the night. They, they normally respond. The opinion of the minority whip Desmond Ezehi Igbas, who said BEDC might not be responsible by the transmission company of Nigeria, did not get support of members. This one that just transpired has nothing absolutely to do with BEDC, Mr. Speaker. In fact, the transmission company should be asked to pay for the transformers, properties, and even compensate the family of that woman. Fosa Wangwe reporting.